All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. Very welcome again and to join our online webinar today. I am, my name is Elise Lin. I'm the product manager here at Aver headquarters. I'm based in Taipei, Taiwan. We would like to share with you our the recent launch products, which is the CAM 550, CAM 130 content camera, and a video bar BB342 Pro. We would like to share the, in, the most innovative features and hopefully we get you a insight and reshape your media experience today with us, with Ever. Um, before I get started, we have a, a technical support team behind the scenes. So if you have any technical questions, uh, please just feel free to send a message to our chat box. They will assist you as much as they can. Let's go on to our agenda. The first one, we will introduce you a video bar, BB342 Pro. This is a 4K PTC video bar camera. It's particularly designed for small to medium conference rooms. The second one is the CAM 550. It's a dual lens 4K video camera. This is designed for uh, mid to large meeting rooms. And the next one is the CAM 130 content camera. This works as a second camera. It comprises of 4K for whiteboard and IP collaboration. And the last, uh, the last one is the uh, open discussion later on. So we have here the first one, a video bar, 342, 342 um, bar for small to medium rooms. We will give you a brief idea about this uninterrupted reality. Actually, this is comprised of night uh, 4K video bar. It's equipped uh, PTZ camera delivering vivid images in any meeting rooms. Actually, this one has a 92 FOB, three times very focal lens with 15 times total zoom. And this one has true WDR. The size of this video bar, as you can see here, is about 73 centimeters wide and 12 centimeters high. So let's watch the video, how this camera works. Presentation tracking, small gallery, gesture control. The presentation tracking is a combination of video and audio tracking. When the presenter speaks in any preset area, our camera will locate and frame that area, then track and zoom in the presenter, even if they leave the preset location. Now let's move on and watch our video, how this really works. Okay, so let me recap again. So basically this presentation tracking is a combination of audio and video tracking. So basically when the presenter speaks in any of preset area, this camera will locate and frame that area, then track and zoom the presenter again, whenever he or she goes. So even, even they leave the preset location, the camera will anyway follow the, the person who is speaking.
So it's again, it's a combination, um, but also a, a, an audio and video tracking. The next one uh, is our smart gallery, smart gallery function. Smart gallery function, let's watch the video first. Smart Gallery. Smart Gallery is an AI face and body detection technology to crop participants' faces, which offers the remote site a clear view. You can choose either headshot or half mode, half body mode. So watch this out. Choose Smart Gallery. Click Start. Here's the headshot or half mode. So let's try with headshot. Go on on the zoom. Here you go. Here's the layout. And remember, always choose every USB V cam as camera source. Now let's see the half body. And let's go back to zoom again. Here you go. Here's how the layout that shows here. Thank you. Okay. So this function, Smart Gallery, this, this function actually supports up to 20 participants. And remember to run our software PTZ app 2 on computer. And remember not to forget to choose the USB VCAM as a video source. The next one, the next one is our gesture control. Um, you know, I think you may want to avoid touching cameras to any other objects since we're now co-living with COVID-19 um, almost everywhere. So, and even when you are in the physical meeting room, eliminating touch points can promote safety. So let's watch how this gesture control does. Gesture control. Gesture control reduces touching for a safety meeting. To enable or disable AI functionality, open hand or either side of your face. To zoom in, raise your hand over your head with an open hand or closed fist. To zoom out, hold up a closed fist next to your face. Click setting. Here, make sure your gesture control mode is on. Okay, here you can see why you raise your hand over your head. The camera zooms in. When you hold up a closed fist next to your face, then it zooms out. Okay, so basically I find it myself like gesture counter is really good and very practical because um, think about even you are in a seminar or in a training course, the people can just simply raise your hand and the camera will track the person and zoom him in. So, and, and then it's, so instead of doing making the remote by yourself remote control, I think this way is much easier and safer. Now let's continue. I hope you are still following me. If you have any question in the, mid in the meantime, you can just leave a message in our chat room. The next one is the CAM 550. CAM 550 is our 4K dual lens PTZ conference camera. This is particularly designed for mid to large conference rooms. And as you can see here, it's a dual lens. This one on the top and the one small one below. The one on the top is a PTZ camera with 20, in total of 24 total zoom and 85 FOB. While the other one, this one below, is an AI lens with a 95 FOB. 
So together, this dual lens provide a panoramic view of the room. And here we would like to share you the most three innovative features. The first one is our dynamic framing. This enhances your meeting efficiency and protects safety meeting. The second one is the preset framing. This tracks speakers in preset areas thanks to face detection technology. The third one is our P picture in picture via HDMI or USB. So let's watch the first one, the dynamic framing. Dynamic framing enhances meeting efficiency. This CAN 550 can precisely focus on participants and newcomers. When newcomers walk in, the secondary AI lens springs to action to detect them. Then the camera automatically reframes. Through fully automatic operation, this dynamic framing optimizes meetings and protects the safety of participants. Now let's speed up a little bit. So through fully automatic operation, this dynamic framing optimizes meeting. CAN 550 can precisely focus on participants and newcomers. When the secondary AI springs to action to detect them, then the camera reframes again automatically. All right. Okay, so let me recap again. So basically, the, sec the second AI is the second AI is here. The second AI lens, the one below this one, 95 degrees FOB, does the AI detection and then triggers the PTZ lens, the one, this one on the top. So the, the, then this enables to frame the participants in the meeting rooms again. Therefore, when someone or a newcomer is even coming late, the second AI lens can detect the newcomers again and then ask the PTZ lens to reframe again because it can be annoying to, you know, adjust the angle by yourself, uh, adjust the camera angle again, uh, again, I'm manually using remote control. So we simply, this CAM 550, we simply let the second AI do the work. Now let's move on to the second one, which is our preset framing. Here, the preset framing, you can see there are two options. Either we have the preset framing in a separate preset areas, as you can see here, preset areas one and area two, and they are not they are somehow not connected. The second one is the connected preset areas. Total, we can set up nine preset areas. So let's watch step by step. Preset framing. With this mode, the presenter can move freely. While the presenter enters in the preset area, the camera frames the speaker. Even when speakers leave the preset area, the camera would continue to follow them. Now let's check this out.
Now let's make a brief stop here. Make sure to set up your preset areas before the meeting starts. Here I have two preset areas that I preset in advance. Number one and number two is here on the left side. In this screen, you can see that both preset areas are partly overlapped, as you can see in here. And that is even better and awesome because in this way, the presenter can move freely from preset area one to preset area two. Remember in this mode, the camera tracks the person. Now let's continue. So when the presenter walks out the preset area, the camera will continue to follow the person and reframe all the participants again. Okay, so let me recap again. So basically this preset framing, you can set up total nine preset points. And you can uh, just recap again. So actually you can set up two or more independent preset areas even without overlapping as we just talked about this one, the first one in a separate preset areas. So when no one is in the preset area, the camera will anyway track the presenter. But also when the camera detects more than one person, the camera will then will refrain the all participants again. And the second one here, the connected preset areas or even overlapping, uh, the camera will detect the, where the speaker goes uh, and switch smoothly from one to preset area two or three or four. So let's move on to the next one. This one is our PIP function, picture in picture. This one let users view the speakers and the meeting participants with different view layout options. Let's see how this works. PIP function, let users simultaneously view the speaker and the meeting participants with different view layout options. Okay, so basically this picture in picture functions, uh, you can just choose freely uh, which layouts you would like to have, either on the bottom right corner or half half mode. So basically you don't miss the presenter or the participants. I found this really cool and great. Now we are um, approaching to the third of our product model. 
This one is our Avercam 130 content camera. It's a 4K camera for whiteboard and IFP collaboration. We have a double certified Microsoft Teams and Skype for business. We would like to share with you um, innovative features here. The first one is the keystone correction in Microsoft Teams rooms. This gives you a great whiteboard collaboration created in the Teams room system. The second one is the same keystone correction, but in our software, it's a PTZ app too. This gives you a flexible whiteboard and IFP screen content. You can, uh, can be shared at any angle you want. The third one, we have a clear IFP monitor frequent decreases. I will show you how this works. And the last one, we have a brief um, of our installation guide, how this CAM 130 is mounted, um, because this can be mounted where on the wall or in the ceiling. Let's find out the first one, the keystone correction in Microsoft Teams rooms. The first feature is keystone correction in Microsoft Teams rooms. Our content camera works as a second camera to share your whiteboard to remote site with crystal clear view. You can crop, zoom in using intelligent AI. The presenter will become see-through in front of the board. Now check this out. Now here, tap more to open the sidebar, then tap settings. First, select peripherals here. Next, select Aver Can 130 content camera. Then remember here, tick the box, content enhancement, and rotate content camera 180 degrees. Then save and exit. Now in here, make sure all four corners of your whiteboard are within the view. After that, you will see a green friend as here it shows this, the green ones will appear. Okay, so I really, I personally think that this one is amazing, especially when you get to see that the person of the people get see through or transparent in front of in front of whiteboard. And uh, uh, one way, uh, one one more thing is that our cam our camera is Microsoft certified and can be used in Microsoft Teams rooms. And I got a question here is that how about Zooms, Teams or Google Meet? Does this support as well? And the answer is yes, we do support um, for this um, video camera software, Zooms, Teams or Google Meet. And however, if you use uh, on the under these platforms, then you can use um, Aver PDZ app 2 to have the keystone correction to capture the whiteboard and enlarge to full screen for the remote site. So um, I can show you to give you an example how this works in, in our uh, PDZ app 2 keystone correction. The second feature is keystone correction in PDZ app 2. With this function, you can crop, adjust your whiteboard or ISP screen 
and shear at any angle with remote sight. This function serves as a second camera which gives a detailed view of the whiteboard or IP screen the presenter is presenting to the remote sight. Now let's watch how this works in PDZ app 2. First, launch PDZ app 2 until your content camera is detected. Then select Aver Keystone Correction. Then start. Here you can choose manual outline or auto detection. Let's choose manual outline and setup. Here you go. You can adjust the angle. I have actually misplaced the whiteboard in by purpose. However, you can just crop and adjust the angle till the angle you want to share to the remote site. Then next. Remember to save it. Okay. One more thing, if you choose auto detection, this will require your graphic card depending on the laptops you are using. If you have a graphic card, you can use auto scan instead of manually outline. Auto detection, select auto scan. Here, make sure the whiteboard is framed within the camera view. If the whiteboard is framed in half or partly cut off, the auto scan won't be able to crop and adjust the angle automatically. So therefore, make sure the whiteboard is framed within the camera view angle. Now let's scan. Now you can see that the content from the whiteboard has been cropped automatically and nicely. Now let's go to conference software, for example, Zoom. Open a Zoom, new meeting. Here you can see my screen, but however, remember to choose Aver USB VCAM so that the whiteboard content can be shared out. Here you go. The remote site is now able to see your camera with this content. But if you want to share this content, first you have to choose Share Screen, click Advanced, choose Content from Second Camera, and switch the camera, and switch here the camera until you until the content just you just saved shows up. Here's the content that you just saved shows up to the remote site. So again, Keystone Correction works as a second camera, meanwhile you still have your first camera, which is here. Either laptop embedded one or external one. Keystone Correction is a second camera and helps adjust the angle of content in a whiteboard or IFP screen you want to shed it out to the remote site. Okay, so I hope you are still following me again. Um, let me recap. Um, important thing is that uh, if you want to share your whiteboard in Microsoft Teams rooms, then you don't need Avers app. But however, for other software, like I just show you now on the Zoom, uh, use, then you have to use the uh, use the whiteboard detection by running our PDZ app too, on our P, uh, on PC. So uh, just a remind on this one, and also remember to select our USB V cam as video source. Now let's quickly move on to the next feature, which is our flicker decrease. So flicker decrease. This gives a clear IP monitor and gives you a fluid content capture. 
that which makes it easy. And then you might want to ask, how do I reduce the flicker then? So let's move on to the next slide here. You can open your PTC app too, here on the setting. Um, by default, we always have this flicker decrease off. So just simply click the button on and below the button, here there would be available for you there's a bar where you can just drag and then set the level of frequency until it reduces the flicker and that's about it. it's pretty easy all right now let's move on to the next one here we have a, a brief installation guide how to mount our cam 130 content camera this can be mounted on the ceiling or on the wall. And here's the whiteboard. So let's watch the video first, how this works. This one is whiteboard mount installation guide. This content camera serves as a second camera during your meeting, which gives a detailed view of the whiteboard or IFP screen the presenter is presenting to the remote site. This content camera bundle kit package includes whiteboard mount, tripod screw, USB extender, and a remote control. For detailed information, you can visit our website www.aver.com and choose CAM130 content camera. The CAM130 content camera can be mounted onto the wall or ceiling. You can also download our user manual installation guide from our website. Now let's watch a video. Right. Yeah. So now we are approaching to the end of our webinar. I hope this um, quick guide or installation gives you a roughly idea how to install our CAM 130 content camera. Now we are approaching to question and answer. I believe that questions lead to better communication. We are open now for your questions. Please feel free to drop any questions in our chat box. And our support team will collect your questions. So now I've got the, the first questions here. Uh, since Aver VCAM was for IP streaming, so is the smart gallery use IP streaming? And yes, I mean, Aver VCAM is Aver's virtual streaming technology. So we have IP virtual streaming and USB virtual streaming. And the smart gallery using USB virtual streaming technology so that the camera still has to connect um, with PC. I hope I have answered your questions clearly. And the second one I got, does content camera also support for Zoom rooms? Yes, it does support. Here I got another one. 
uh, how many vehicles will be installed in one PDZ F2? Actually, it has no limitations, but only one can be input to VC software as video source. I got another one. How do we enable third part? How do we enable third part audio tracking integration with preset link for CAN 550? Uh, please use our PTZ app to preset link function, uh, but you can contact with our sales uh, sales team to arrange uh, how to how to do that to arrange your for product training. Here I got another one. Um, can 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 five fifty support multiple simultaneous stream, for example USB or HDMI? Yes, you can. I have another one. How many smart gallery video layout are there? Can it be configured? Uh, we only have two layout and we are not able to configure at this moment. Okay, I've got a couple more questions. Just wait a moment, please. I got a question here. Can merge two or more cameras at the same time presentation? No, we can't. All right, any other questions? My, I think my support team is working on this. Just a few moments, please. I got another question here. Is a smart gallery also available with other AVER model like VB130? Um, currently only for CAN 550, BB342 Pro, and CAM uh, and VC520 Pro, which is ma ma mainly for medium to large room type camera. And here I got another one. CAN 550 can be dispaired by AVER form 540? The answer is no. All right. And the next question is, I got here, what is the maximum support weight for the CAN 130 mounting? Uh, for for the mounting arm. Uh, actually, we suggest less than two kilos. Less than two kilos, yes. The next question I got here, is the presenter transparent mode only available in CAM 130? This is only available in Teams app, content camera function.
Okay. Um, just one minute, please. I think we are Okay, let me check again if there's any questions, anything left. I think we got the last one. Just a few more minutes, please. I think everyone is excited about the questions. That's very good. And again, if you have any other questions popping up after the webinar, please feel free to contact us and reach us. We would like to hear from your feedback and always your insight. All right, I got the last question here. Uh, for smart gallery feature, what will happen in the Zoom gallery view itself when there are lots of remote participants instead of participants joining from the meeting room? Would there be more participants window or only one window containing the smart gallery output? So basically we only have one video source, just only one video source only available. All right. Thank you so much, everyone, ladies and gentlemen. I hope I still keep you awake. And uh, again, feel free to contact us at any time or reach our sales representative. We are very glad and welcome again and hear from you. Thank you so much and have a nice day. Thank you.